Zia and Peter have been living in this 1,600 square foot home for 11 years with sons Yanni and Charlie. This house is in good shape. I think it's almost perfect. The only thing that this house lacks, in my opinion, is a garage. Like, what is this room? Look, I get it. We need to tidy it up a little bit, but you know, we'll we'll figure this room out. Okay, this kitchen. The space doesn't work. Hey guys. And it doesn't communicate with the family room. So when I'm in the kitchen and you're here watching television, you know, it's really hard to have a conversation with you. Could you hear me now? I can hear you loud and clear. No, no, you can't. There's that that silly fireplace. It's in the corner, it's ugly. These are the things that we are going to take care of. What do you think this is? Look. Is it an office? Is it a change room? We've had 11 beautiful years in this house, but it's time to move on. No. I love this house. I got a message for David. I am not going to move. I've done an evaluation on your home, and current value is $1.4 million. I believe it's going to be you giving me the must-have list to get you out of this house. We're going to need an open concept main floor, a home office, to move, I require four bedrooms. I'd love to have a nice finished basement. I'd love to have a nice garage. And of course, stay in the neighborhood. What is the budget for the new house? Don't forget, this is a very expensive neighborhood. I'm willing to go up to $1.5 million. See ya. Tell me what I have to do here to convince you that this is the house that could work. Create an open concept main floor. Our family room is a long and skinny room. There is a really ugly fireplace crammed in a, in a corner. Renovate the kitchen, give us more storage. Redo the ensuite bathroom. Oh, I'm with you on that mm. one. Do you use a tub? Do you want a tub? Or would you like a giant shower instead? Giant shower. Renovate the kids' bathroom. And finally, update the basement office. It's interesting to me that you haven't talked about the sunroom. Well, we currently don't really use it. It's really just a dumping ground. What's my budget? The $120,000. $120,000 is a lot of money. It uh, is a lot of it money. It is a lot of yeah. money. I'm going to come up with a plan to be able to make a really big change to this house. And I believe that when I'm done, you're going to love it. We'll see. I don't think so, because I think we just made the deal that's going to get you the four-bedroom house that you will never, ever have here. And when I find that house, the only thing you're going to say about this one is listed. I want to go all the way back here to start on what I'm envisioning for this house. OK. This wall's coming down. Perfect. This wall's coming down. Basically, they want true open concept. And please get rid of that fireplace. I hate it. This sunroom space has got to be incorporated into the main floor area. Oh, boy. I need the space. I can't give them what they need otherwise. This will be my main working wall. This is where I'll have my stove, my fridge, pantry, and then I'd like to have a great big island, and that's where the sink will go. I've got this wonderful idea for the walk through pantry from the kitchen into this area, so the connection is complete. We are five minutes from Peter and Sia's house. The house itself, it's got four bedrooms, semi-open concept main floor, eat-in kitchen, second floor laundry, completely finished basement. I don't see what they're not going to like about it. Come on in. Living room, dining room combination right at the front. Feels a little bit smaller than ours, I would have to say. Yeah, I mean, it's not as open as I would like it, David. OK, right this way to the kitchen. Plenty of storage. Uh, it looks nice. I mean, yeah. <laughs> you don't think it looks nice, do you? Mm. Let's go outside. You've got the backyard, plus you've got the carport. I mean, there's a carport, but there's no garage. Just leave it at that. Second floor lawn. Oh, I like this, David. This is what I want. You should ask Hillary for it. Yeah. This is tight. OK, it's convenient, but it's tight. I love the laundry room upstairs, David. Let's go. OK, let's move along. The main bedroom. I really love the vaulted ceilings in here. Yeah. Your main bath. Double oh. sinks, big tub. Nice. Nice big tub. Yeah, it's kind of like ours. I would say our tub's even better than this one. Would you? No. <laughs> I mean, it's the first house we've looked at, but how yeah. do you feel about it? Um, I think it's not the perfect house, David. It's not completely open concept, which okay. I want. Right. Number two, it does not have a garage. What do you think overall? I think it's got some nice features. I like this family room. You're on the right track. You've given us some good things. What do you think this house is listed at? $1,550,000. $1.6 million. This house is listed at $1.4 million. Ooh. So it is $100,000 under your budget. 
Well, it's got a carport. That's yeah, I know, but a carport is useless. I mean, we want a garage. It's going to be harder to find in the kitchen. He listened to us. He saw what we liked and we didn't like, and the next house will have more of what we like. Well, let's hope so, because this house is nowhere near what we want. There is this rumor flying around that you want a second floor laundry. There's yeah. nowhere to put a laundry on this floor. Find room, Hillary, please. No, find I can't room. find room. I can't find room without taking a huge amount of space out of your ensuite. There's nowhere else. Well, we could find a home that has all the stuff that we need. We know that, but we're talking about this home right now. I know that right now, I don't want to be here. Hopefully, after it's done, well, you'll, get your, you'll change your mind. Well, I don't think so. We are five minutes from Peter and Sia's house. The house that I'm about to show them is completely down from top to bottom. Three bedrooms on the main floor. Beautiful open concept. Walk out to a backyard. It's got a beautifully finished basement. It's got a garage. I hope they love it. Oh, I like it. Love the neighborhood. That's a one and a half car garage. Yeah, which means not is. only are you going to get your vehicle in there, yeah. you're also going to be able to store stuff in there. This is bullseye. Nailed the garage, nailed the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. I guess that leaves the house. Let's go find Let's out. Let's go check it out. Ooh. This looks nice. What do you think, Peter? It looks good. It yeah? looks good, yeah. Promising. Your dining room, kitchen, family room combination with wall-to-wall -wall wow. storage. You've got the beautiful mm. island. I like it. Ooh. Looks good, David. Very nice. And the walkout. Yeah, it rolls out beautifully. It rolls out beautifully. I mean, look at the beautiful deck, and yeah. that's where you have access to your garage. Peter, you seem a, a little quiet over there. Yeah. You're usually like, you know, you can't not speak. I'm trying to be quiet and not say too much because, it, <laughs> you know, it looks good. Uh, let's head to the basement. And this oh. is. How are you about having your laundry in the lower level? It's not ideal, but I yeah. would prefer it upstairs. I know you yeah, would. Yeah. I know you would. So we'll head into the main area. Nice. What do you think? It looks good. I mean, our basement is pretty good, too. This is going very well, mm -hmm. I think, mm -hmm. so far. So far, you haven't really complained. Maybe I'll start. <laughs> <laughs> hey, huh, Peter? Huh? Wow, Sky two skylights. skylights. We've got the kids' bedrooms and the bathroom right next door. OK. Oh, nice. Look at this. Isn't it beautifully done? Double sink. Yeah. Looks good, David. All we have to see is the main bedroom. And that's it. I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to let you take it in. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. Wow. <laughs> wow. What do you think, Peter? I think this room is pretty good, David. And what's that? That's your own private little sitting room. Mm -hmm. Wow. That looks awesome. You're on sweet. It's a little small. You know, I wish it had double sinks. Yeah. But how often are you in here together? Well, in this one, never. <laughs> well, there's no, there's no double vanity. <laughs> we don't have a double vanity either. Yet. I like this house, David. You did. Yeah. You hit this one out of the park. And location wise, I love it. Anything missing for you? Laundry room upstairs, but yeah. that, you know. I understand that. Mm. Peter, didn't hear many complaints out of you throughout this house tour, so what do you no, think? No, I mean, it's a nice house, David. You know, the garage is, is pretty awesome. What do you think this house is listed at? $1.6 million. $1.5 million. This house is listed at $1.6 million. Mm. Wow. Over budget, but that garage is probably worth $250,000 in this neighborhood. Do we need to look at anything else? Does this feel like sort of the one I don't think we need to look at anything else, David. I think this is it. I mean, this house is is a contender. That says it all. Hello, hello, hello. How are you? I'm fine. Look at you all smiles. <laughs> I love it. Ready? Yeah. Ready. Come on in. <laughs> wow. It's gorgeous. Wow. Wow. It looks unbelievable, Hillary. So now we have a great, big, fabulous area. Right. Oh, oh, oh my, my God. God. We chose to build this in so that wow. it would become a servery for you when you are entertaining. Beautiful design. Such Beautiful a is an yeah. understatement. Here it is. Oh, my God.
You love to entertain? This is the place to entertain. Tons of storage. Let's remember there was wall. Not having to have a wall, wall. here, yeah. we could give you a good-sized island, and you have the flow that you need. It's all connected. I can't believe yeah, how it was looks, transformed. Let's remember there was a stupid little fireplace stuck in the corner over there. Yeah. So now, look at this. You have a fireplace right where you want it. Beautiful. Wow. And where are we standing right now? In the solarium. In the solarium. It was the completely wasted space. Yeah. That ugly solarium. Yeah. And this space looks so much bigger than the solarium, that, as a matter of fact. Yeah. I mean, even just this view of seeing the whole house is, that is phenomenal. It. Isn't this beautiful? Mm -hmm. Ready to go upstairs? Yeah. All right. Wow. Hillary, what is this? I wonder what this could be. I this seem to closer. remember standing here and literally almost coming to blows with you. Do you remember that? Oh, I remember. Love the doors. Wow. Wow. Look at wow. that. We have a second floor laundry. Yeah. We do. Ta-da. This was, this was like the, my biggest headache. Wash and dry upstairs, wash and dry upstairs. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was my yeah. headache, too. Oh, oh, my goodness. Wow. Well, this wow. is bigger than I thought it was going to be. Well, look at the size of that shower. Yeah, it's huge. You yeah. got a double vanity I in know. here. I could probably have some of my own space. OK, OK. You did a really phenomenal job. Thank you very much, Hillary. That is now the new value of your house with the renovation that has been done. The pre-renovation value of their home was $1.4 million. With a final renovation budget of $155,000, the new value of this home is $1.67 million for an increase of $270,000. So Hillary did a great job with the house. Well, This area is beautiful. She got the laundry upstairs. That was big. Second floor laundry really is, is huge for the family. I got Especially it. Especially the next one that moves in. Whatever. <laughs> I think I've made up my mind. Yeah, I think I've made up my mind, too. Decision made? Yeah. It's made. Are you going to love it? Or are you going to list it? We are going to love it. Oh, good. The garage. The garage. The office space. Office space. And then some. Yeah, yeah, and then some. But look at this. Everything about this house is awesome. It's tough to leave this place. Now it is. <laughs>